I've accumulated the uh, materials I'll need to build a gin pole and keep these cats out of my way and uh, what I've come up with with the help of my friend Mike I have a 14 foot pipe this is stainless steel I had originally wanted to use aluminum but uh, one of the problems of, <laughs> one of the problems other than having cats everywhere is to find pipes that telescope together and what I found once again <laughs> this is a part of a jack for a trailer and um, what I found is this piece telescopes into this into this pipe and the jack tubing here is fairly heavy steel and then I have the 14 foot stainless steel pipe which isn't going to be as strong as what I wanted but I think it'll be strong enough to support the 70 pound sections of Roan 45G so what I need to do I need to cut off this bracket on the jack trailer jack here I need to cut off the end cap here so I've got a hollow cylinder another problem here is on the end there's a little boss that's indented here that keep that stops the pipe from completely entering the tube so I'll have to find a way to either grind this out internally or drill it out and fill it with weld and then on this tubing will be a double clamp assembly that will clamp to the side of the tower then to use the gin pole of course the the stainless steel pipe will be inserted and it will telescope in this section to use it uh, initially the the stainless steel pipe will be coming out of the bottom the clamp assembly will be clamped to the tower and then this pipe will be slid up above the top assembled tower section with a pulley on the top and then a rope will come down through the center of the pipe down through the bottom down to a snatch block down at the bottom of the tower and then the rope will go out horizontally and I think if I keep everything vertical and don't put any side loads on this pipe it should be strong enough so the next step I need to do is do a CAT scan maybe? I don't know. Anyway, the next step is be to grind off this plate here and I'm going to assemble the clamp section here. And then the next step will be to make a cap that goes on the end of the pipe with a pulley in it. Right CAT? Here's the progress on the gin pole. I've taken um, a piece of this heavy angle here and I cut off and this has been welded to this pipe that's part of the old jack, trailer jack. And now this piece will slide along here and then next step will be to weld these plates on both sides and then there'll be connections to both sides of here this this angle will will go against the pipe in the tower leg and then there'll be bolts going through four points that will be secured on the other side of the pipe and then of course the pipe will telescope 
in and out of this. These pieces here that I cut are out of a garage door assembly which was used um, to connect the door to the mechanism of the garage door opener. I just cut four pieces out of this. More, more nice materials from my friend Mike which helped me out. And then the next step after that will be to clamp the sliding tube to this, which I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. This pipe is a little too thin to put bolts in and bolt it. I'm a little worried about it. Um, so a suggestion by my friend Mike, which is a good idea, I think I'm going to put pins through and the rope will be going through here, but there's enough room. The rope should be able to go by the pins and then exit out the bottom of the, the pipe down to the bottom base of the tower. Um, another option would be a pipe around here that is split, and then that could be made into a clamp that would be on the top side of this pipe that would prohibit it from going back down. But I think I like the idea of the pins that Mike had better. So that's the next step. Weld on these plates and then figure out how I'm going to clamp the sliding tube to this one. These uh, mesh together really nice. There's just enough clearance. It's not going to be a lot of slop and uh, this pipe is pretty heavy. I was concerned about the thickness of this pipe. I, did wa I wanted to use aluminum, like a Schedule 80 pipe, but trying to find a pipe that that would telescope in, I just was having a hard time doing it. So Mike was generous enough to let me take this pipe. So on to the next step. Here's the progress made so far on the gin pole. Here's the part that will be clamped to the tower and how this will work is this channel will be the leg of the antenna tower and then these clamps will secure this to the tower. These will be cut off and I'll put some kind of a T-handle on here. And of course this will slide slide along the, the pole here. I have to clean up some of these wells. I was going to put pins in here to uh, clamp the, the mast, but I'm going to try something else first. I took a piece of pipe and I split it and what I'm going to try doing is welding two pieces on each side of where it's split and then putting some through bolts across and then this will run up against here tighten them off and that should keep the the mass from sliding down through this section here anyway I'll try that and see what happens once again, using um, scrap material, these side plates here with the holes in them were just made out of a garage door opener bar, pretty heavy, and I just uh, cut it into sections and drilled them out. Anyway, the next step will be see if this is going to work. I will test it. I'll mount it on a mount it on the tower and I'll put maybe a hundred pounds make sure it'll hold that. I'm a little concerned about the, the main mass pipe here being stainless steel but in the like I said earlier the sections of Rhone 45G are 70 pounds a piece but if I keep the loads vertical on the mast um, and don't put a lot of side loads on it hopefully it'll be okay. 
So now we'll go to the next step in the construction of this gin pole. Instead of pins, I came up with something different. This uh, took a piece of pipe and welded some pieces from the garage door opener, spare junk, and uh, made some T-handles. And you can slide this up against up against the fixture, tighten these T-handles, and the pipe isn't going to slide. Need to cut these bolts off. Put some type of handles on here. Or I may just leave them and cut the bolts off. I can always tighten these with a wrench. Nice day today. Miss Patty over there trimming the bushes. She likes to do that. <laughs> anyway, here's the top. I'm going to cut off the. I'm going to cut this pole off to about 12 feet. And that's the completed end. I got to grind the wells down, clean those up a little bit and paint it. And then the next step will be to make the hinge top on the cap. Here's a shot of the pulley system. This is done. There's a pipe here that was uh, reduced in diameter by slicing it, compressing and welding it as I did on the other uh, part. And then this is a pulley that was welded to that pipe that has slipped over the stainless pipe. And I also welded two guides here to keep the rope from slipping. And this uh, pipe has been cut at 12 feet 6 inches. So that's pretty much it for the construction of the gin pole. All that's left is to test it. I'm going to put about 100 pounds on it and then paint it and then it'll be ready to erect an antenna. This uh, pulley is rated for over 650 pounds so that'll work fine. Here's the gin pole connected in position. I have my tractor on a small triangular base for a temporary support and um, of course this first section here will be in concrete and here's the gin pole a few things I need to remember because you always find out once you install it on the Two clamps that clamp it to the tower, they have a notch which allows you to rotate it in a position and tighten it. You got to make sure the notches are facing down. And also, get in frame here, the clamps on top, the two clamps need to be facing out. You don't want them against the tower leg, they need to be facing out. And then, of course, I've got a snatch block. On the bottom. Here's another shot. That temporary base. And another look at the gin pole from another angle. You can see the, the pulley welded on the cap on the top. And then as each session goes up, this clamping fixture here, the two top T-handles on the clamp on top of that will be loosened. And then the whole pole will be slid down, unbolted from the tower, lifted up in position of that tower section that was just put up, and then this T-handle 
on the outside which clamps the pole to the bracket um, that will hook on top of the next section that was just installed and then you climb up clamp this fixture and repeat the step over and over till you get get the get the antenna up something else I have to do is come up with a better arrangement with this snatch block here it flops around I think I'll make a clamp so that can be clamped in a position so it doesn't flop around here and if you tie off the tower these are 10 foot sections this uh, the top of the gym pole is long enough you can lift it above the top of the last section and then maneuver it. And whoever's you know controlling the rope on the ground, they can lift or lower it to uh, to mate. And then if if there's a trouble, if there's problem um, mating the sections, I've got the tool that I built in my last YouTube. And then uh, you don't want cats around either. They can be a pest <laughs> unless there's mice around. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of this project. What I need to do now is uh, pull up a section to test it, a few more wells to grind, and then I'm going to paint this, and then it'll be ready to raise towers. This is Road 45G. I forgot how heavy these sections are. Of course, I got some friction in the pulleys too. Um, another thing to keep in mind, when I'm on top of the, the top section, ready for the one to come up, and I remember thinking back about this, you need to use your foot and push the, the rope a little bit to the side so it doesn't get hung up on anything like the, the clamp or the towers. So. This little dry run was good to go over um, things. I found a few little things I had to change too. So anyway, this should work. I was worried about the pole, but it seems to be lifting um, the weight with no problem. These are 70 pound sections a piece, run 45. So anyway, that's it for this one. Maybe I'll do a video when I get the tower up and the beams on it. Bye for now.